This is what Deja Dupe looks like on the desktop. While the layout is not ideal, it still works on the Libra 5. Thanks to Adrian from our team, this app has been updated to use libhandy, making it comfortable to use at the default scaling. You can set up when the backup will happen, what files are saved, which files are excluded, and where the backups will go. Searching FlatHub, as well as installing from FlatHub, is now possible in the software store. This gives app creators a clear path to get their apps published for the Librem 5. While we're still working to get complete isolation for unsandboxed applications, Flatpak was built with isolation from the start. POS has seen a bug fix allowing Mesa-based applications to run without visual artifacts. With that bug out of the way, you can now run over to the software store and install Pure Maps, which used to suffer from those artifacts. Work is still underway to get GPS hooked up and integrated into Pure OS, but you can still enter navigation info. You'll just need to enter a starting location at the moment. For now, you can look at the step-by-step -step directions, but turn-by-turn -turn should start working once GPS is fully integrated. Peer Maps comes with features like pinch-to-zoom and the option to use a fully local navigation server called OSM Scout Server. Big thanks to Renegus over on GitHub for porting and maintaining this project. Automatic screen brightness can be enabled in the settings, but it's off by default while we get the scaling smoothed out. Order your Libra 5 over at puri.sm to help change the world.